Many of us know the NCU alma mater very well and others may have heard it during some of the university activities and events, possibly on the radio or maybe exploring on the web. But how many of us know the history of the alma mater? That's why we're here to tell you how it originated. The date of the inauguration of Northern Caribbean University on June 24, 1999 was fast approaching and the Office of the President had invited submissions from the workforce for an alma mater for this new university and that was to replace the old Deer College on the Hill. In late 1998 up until about February the following year there was no interest shown, nothing had turned up. But one morning in March 1999, Dr. Herbert Thompson was on a flight traveling from Miami to Kingston, Jamaica in the company of his wife Avery, when they both immediately went to work, jotting down some words on the back of an old envelope which she had torn in two. About 20 minutes into the flight, Dr. Thompson asked his wife to listen to what he had written. She thought it was fitting and beautiful and so they wondered what it would sound like when they put it to music. They shared the words with a few colleagues on the campus and the decision was taken to ask Mr. Daniel Rodriguez from the NCU Music Department to put the lyrics to music. After a few consultations with the musician about the need for a majestic ending and how the alma mater should sound when the four parts are sung, the Colombian maestro Rodriguez called them to listen to his production and they were all pleased and satisfied. From that day forward, they proceeded to learn the words and harmonize as they sang to the Blessed Hill. <laughs> 